I jotted down a couple notes of how I felt and what I think, and um, I'm gonna just record myself into this MacBook Pro camera. I will destroy him and I will mount his hair in the envelope. I'm sorry to my sister who's just like, dude, you have my thousand dollar camera. Why don't you use it? Well, it's heavy and I don't know how to use it. <laughs> oh, Val, I'm just so darn bummed. All anyone wants to talk about is Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Isn't he the one that's like, uh, you're all losers? On election night, I also remember, or if not the day after, it was like, who are the people who are voting for Trump? And it's like, uneducated white people. And at first when I saw that, I was just like, damn, there must be a spin. It seemed really patronizing. It's just like, dumb white people. First of all, Trump got the dumb white people, of course. And even if somebody goes to college and is still discriminatory, they are still ignorant. Second of all, dumb white people, why are you so dumb? <laughs> and two things about that. One, I'm educated and there are people that are uneducated. How can I use my education to share that resource? Second of all, the people, I think, that hold the most responsibility towards these dumb white people are smart white people. So it is not gonna be my job to go out and educate these folks that have white privilege. It's not my responsibility. I'm like already trying to process with things. So. <sighs> uh. People of color, queer trans folks, this is like a real terrorism our feeling and have like there are vigilantes who say the n-word, who write really racist things that bring up memories and traumas of like burning crosses, nooses, sending people out of the country, splitting up families. That's horrible. That's like people's nightmares that we're inflicting on each other. It's like how dare, how dare these Americans, these white people or like whoever trying to make our peers, um, our fellow citizens, our community members feel small and helpless and like they're worth nothing. What gives people the right, what gives people like the, even the thought that they are able to hurt others like that, that they have the right to hurt others like that? So I remember the night of the election, I went out to get milk tea and popcorn chicken at our local milk tea place that was still open at like 10 p.m. because I needed it. <laughs> And I'm there, and there's this white dude sitting next to, to me and my girlfriend. He's, like, wearing a button-up on a cell phone. He, like, ordered cuttlefish balls or whatever. But the CNN person comes on, and I think it's Van Jones. And it came kind of like an asterisk, like, by the way, or, like, P.S. Basically said, like, this is a white lash. But that term, like, I can't believe that I was in that moment. What it basically is, is that throughout the history of America, whenever black folks rise, whenever they get the rights that they deserve, white folks, they feel the need to retaliate. And this is just one of those cases. But I remember the white guy next to me had called up his friend and was like, hey, this term white lash, and then he starts speaking. Though I was going through so much emotion at that time, I really wanted to hurt this guy, but I didn't. <laughs> white lash is real, and people had predicted it like four years ago when Obama was reelected. After this election, I just, I want to make sure that when four years pass, I will be ready to 
go and work for the election because I do not want this to happen again. I do not want to have an election come out knowing that I could have done something. This is the most that I've ever done. I made a couple phone calls for Hillary. We talked about it a little bit on Facebook, but it's not enough. And when the election came, I was just like, I should have done more. So I'm going to do that. I am not going to put up. I really hope that I will not put up with any more isms, like no more racism, no more sexism, no more homophobia. I'm not going to just sit idly by. There are also times where somebody will make a comment and I just, I just don't have, I just can't deal with it. I can't. And I just hope that I find the courage to do that because I think if I speak up, that not only helps my objectives and not only helps people who feel the same way or need it, but I think it really just helps everybody as a whole. Um, I also have a community that is totally not with the lingo. Don't, as Asian Americans, don't know what's up, why they shouldn't say the N-word, um, like why we should ally ourselves with black people because discrimination and bigotry and all that hateful violence it's not constructive and it's ignorance that's what it is and if people are educated I think that they will think differently I also want my legacy to be I want to be the type of ancestor who did something. I will not be an ancestor who did nothing. I also got that from a panel since Google is having a blackout week, like Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I'm at a loss of words.